me me. He said, some. No. It's a part. What did he say? A little bit of. He said, everything I ever have and have ever owned has always been yours. Oh, praise God. Hello. That's good. That's good stuff. You didn't party. The fatty cow wouldn't got out because you was too lazy to go get it. Hello. Come on. Come on. Everything I've always had was yours. You didn't want to take it. It get quiet, ain't it? It's getting quiet. Amen. My blessings don't come from a church. Yes. My blessings don't come from, from a preacher. Amen. My anointing don't come from people. Amen. Come on, church. Amen. We don't understand. Yes. Come on. Amen. Let me tell you something. The same God he prays to, I pray to. Yes. Guess what? The same God I pray to, she prays to. Amen. Guess what? The same God she prays to, she prays to. Guess what? The same God she prays to, those little kids back there are probably doing more praying than any of us. Amen. Come on. God still answers prayers. Do we understand? Amen. Don't get quiet on me now. I, feel like I, I, feel, I, I don't feel like I'm losing. I feel like I'm getting, that someone's getting frustrated. It's all right. Don't get frustrated. Come on, man. You see what I'm saying? The promises of God are yes and amen, not no and maybe. Or we'll see what tomorrow brings. That's right. If I was one of those part-time Christians, I'm talking about the ones that come. Just anyways, if I was one of those Christians last week, I would have threw my hands up and quit, brother. Because I guarantee you, what me and my wife battled last week, I guarantee there are so-called Christians that wouldn't be here tonight, much less telling you how good this Jesus is. Right. But Paul said, I, don't, I know in whom I serve. Right. Now, I'm not boasting in me, but I am going to boast in the strength that he has given me yeah. and the comfort and the peace of mind of Jesus. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? You see, we, we can't serve God with stipulations. Amen. That's why I think God's trying to get us to tonight. We, we, we're either all in or y'all out. Right. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Yes, sir. It, that, that, you know, the part-time stuff, can I ask a question? How's that part-time church working for us? How's that part-time what will God work for us? Oh, and I'm not saying anybody here particular. I'm, I'm just saying part-time Christianity don't give you no work. Right. Come on. God don't want weekend visits. He wants full custody. Yeah, amen. And close. God loves you. Amen. So much. Amen. Now I made this statement one time. He calls one of the biggest arguments I've ever been in, in church. What's your phone number? What's, what's Pastor's phone number? BR549. BR549. Check this out. I said this one time, and, and I was trying to make a point. I love everybody in here. Everybody agree we love everybody? Yeah. How many got kids? Yeah. All right. Now, don't nobody raise their hand. Don't nobody raise their hand. But how many of you will lay your child's life down for someone in this church? Before you say, oh, I want to praise God, you better think. Come on. I, I, I made the mistake of answering that question honestly. Come on. Amen. I love my kids. Yeah, even you smiles. Shorty. Come on. I love my kids. Mistake I ever made. You know what I don't like? It's Christians who bring up the past. Right. Because the Word of God says He, he, he throws it as far as it is from the east yeah, to the west. Yeah, yeah. And He remembers it no more. Yeah. Can I tell you why He says east to west instead of north to south? 
because once you go north and you get to the North Pole, you got to start going south. Once you get to the South Pole, you start coming north. But no matter what, if you go east, you're still going east. You never come back traveling west. It's gone. Every promise in that word is yours for the taking. It's mine for the taking. It's just we don't know how to use that power sometimes. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. One, of the, one of the biggest things I hate hearing is what God done 20 years ago. Yeah. Amen. My wife's like, oh boy, here we go. Let's go start on that. Amen. <laughs> well, I, you know, and, and I plan what God done 20 years ago. Yeah. But if you know if we would get to place those Christians was, uh -huh. it doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Let's not forget about five years ago in Ardmore, Alabama, when a lady come in in a wheelchair to benefit singing for her and had no, no muscle in her leg tissue or in her legs, she left walking and left the wheelchair at the altar. Praise God. But let's not forget that. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Let's not forget what God has done in the past. Yeah. Has God saved anybody in the house tonight? Man, come on, brother. That one too. Can't save anybody in the house tonight? Yeah. Come on. Come on. I'm saved by grace. Yeah. You want the promises of God? You want the blessings of God? Get in there and serve God. Yeah. I'll read one scripture and I'm done. Who's got their swords? Yeah. Check this out. Now I know this didn't go the way uh, some of us thought. Sure didn't go the way I thought. But, uh, that's, you know, I've I, I learned something about God. I've learned something about ministry. And, it, it, and every time, y'all ever, ever sit back and God do something, we're like, wow. Yeah. Right? And we're like, why? I mean, God does what He says He's going to do. Yeah. So why are we in, in awe when He does it? Why are we in awe when a miracle happens? Man. Why are we in awe when, when, when somebody gets saved? That, that's what God does. That's, right. that's, what, that's what He does. God saves them? Whoa. Hello. Some of y'all got that wild packet before, right? It says, if my people which are called by my name. Now, it says, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their evil ways, then will I hear from heaven. And will give, uh, will and and will forever, for will forgive their sins, and will heal their land. Amen. Amen. Good. Man. Now, but we all, we just want the blessing, boy, right? <laughs> we don't want to do the praying. That last sentence. That last sentence. Come on. I'll hear from heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, God, why not hear from me? Come on. Come on. I've been there. Amen. Like, recently. Amen. Amen. Had preachers tell me, well, God's always quiet during our test. Well, good for him. I don't want to be quiet right now. I need to hear. Come on, child. I need to hear from God. Yeah, man. Well, let's just get your prayer off and over. Yeah. Come on, brother. Sick me, Lord. Come on, church. Come on. Be honest with me. I said this one time, a few times, and people look at me like I'm wrong. I want everything God's got for me. Do I do? Amen. Amen. Uh -uh. You know? But yeah, I, I got to serve him to get it, though, right? Amen. You see what I'm saying? I, I've heard people say, I, I just want to be a doorkeeper in heaven. Well, good for you. Be a doorkeeper. <laughs> I want to be more than a doorkeeper. If that's wrong, I, whatever, I'm sorry. But I want to be born a doorkeeper. Amen. I want to actually walk the streets of gold with him. Is that so bad to want to walk down the streets of gold? Amen. My gosh, with the one that died for you? Amen. You know, I, I, I got, I got, I got in-laws up there. I'm trying to close. I, I, I got in-laws up there. I got grandparents up there. Got mom and daddy up there. Got a friend that got killed right after graduation, hit by a drunk driver. Got, got all these people. As, and let me tell you something. If, if my, my family will tell you, I, I want to see mom and daddy so bad. I do. Yeah. So, I, I want to 
to say, Mom, and I just want to hear a voice one more time. But I know it's not going to happen unless I serve Jesus with everything I got. Amen. So guess what? Mom and Daddy can wait just a few minutes if I can get to heaven and he just take me by the hand and walk down the streets and go where the one who died for me made it possible just one little bit. You see what I'm saying? What's wrong with that? I got an old house right now. It's home. Yeah. But John 14 says, in my father's house. Amen. 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 <laughs> I can't understand why y'all ain't shouting on that. Amen. Or many mansions. But then he goes wrong. He said, and if it was not true, if it were not so, I would have told you. Amen. He said, I must go away, but I while I'm gone, I'll send you a comforter yeah. to prepare a place for you. That word, I am. Yes. I don't understand this. Where I am, you may be also. Yes. That's yes. a promise, Pastor. Yes. I love you. Let's sing. Yes. Now I'm going to ask you a question. I believe everybody in the house. Uh, well, you know, I ain't going to say it. I'll be honest with you. We don't know who's saved and who's not saved sometimes. Yes. I'm not. Yes. Let's just be honest. Amen. Amen. I see people get up behind the pulpit and, 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 and that's the them and go. Wow. But let, let's assume, let's not assume everybody's safe. Let's take a minute. Come on, brother. If you're lost tonight, if you are lost tonight, if you backslidden on God, Come on, brother. you see the shame ain't on backslide. The shame's not riding a horse. The shame comes in not to get back in the game. Amen. I guarantee this church will pray with you. Amen. But you got to pray to Jesus yourself. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If you're lost here tonight, you don't have to leave here like you came to Jesus. Amen. I'm not talking about emotionship with God. I'm talking about a relationship. I'm talking about when you mess up, the Holy Ghost quickens your spirit, and you, you, you can't wait till Sunday to repent. You have to do it right then and there. And then you go and you don't do it again. That's repentance. Come on. If you're lost, I guarantee pastor and, and, and all these other saints of God, I guarantee, I guarantee you introduce you to this man named Jesus. Yes, amen. Can we do things a little different tonight? I'm going to ask Pastor and Sister Sandra to come up here tonight. I don't want anybody to bow their head tonight. I don't want nobody looking around. You bow your heads, please. Nobody looking around. How many would raise your hand and say, you know what, I struggle sometimes? Anybody raise their hand on that? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many of you want the promises of God and the peace of mind? Okay. Hands going up all over the house tonight. I want to ask this question. Who's willing to come up here and get prayer and get what God's promised you tonight? It's that simple. So who's going to come? Amen. 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 Amen.
Now that he saved me, I was able to lay my head down <coughs> and sleep like a baby. Yeah. Like I've never slept before. Yeah. It gave me peace. Man. But I lost that peace for a while. Yeah. Just being honest with you, man. Well, but uh, you know what? <coughs> After tonight, uh, I, I don't know what you felt before we even started. But God done something awesome here tonight, I think, in a lot of people that we don't even know and yeah. realize. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to give him praise for what he's done with me right now. Yeah. Because that dream has bothered me, brother. It, it has bothered me. Well, it didn't happen during prayer. I'll be honest with you. But I got the peace of God about everything with that. Amen. I was doing what God called us to do. Yeah, man. Amen. Amen. So, so I, I believe God done a lot of things that some of us won't even re realize tonight. Amen. I want to say thank you, God, for my peace and give God a hand of praise for that. Amen. 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 I'll be good God, isn't yes, you? Sir, yes, sir. I'll tell you what, I love the Lord, don't you? Amen. 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 Go outside these doors Amen. and share the love of Jesus with those that you come in contact Amen. with. Amen. Amen. Let God be God in your life. Amen. Can I get prayer for my stomach tonight? Amen. One more prayer for a stomach.
I can bark like a dog. Oh, okay. Can you bark like a dog? I'm messing with them, Pastor. I'm messing with them, brother. Alright. 40 minutes? You don't want it on 40 minutes, do you? More like 40 seconds. <laughs> Gabrielle's boys get on her nerves so much. Gabrielle's boys get on her nerves so much they start raising cane. Yeah. Fighting and carrying on. Yeah. <sighs> 
Jasper's worse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he is. He's a mess. Do 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 do.